And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, the cool guy of September for Retro Game Treasure, Team Not Crash's very own, DJ! <laughs> oh my god, oh my, look at, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm not, I'm not even wearing shoes. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. I know, I know, I am the greatest ever. I know that it's the lighting is still crap, but I, I can, I, I just, I just have to thank every single one of you fans around the world. <laughs> yes, I remember you, little Tim. Uh, you were the director, weren't you? Oh, and Bella! Oh, I can't forget this little guy. Look at her. I couldn't have done it without her baby mama. Oh, take your picture for the crowd, baby. <laughs> wave to the little people. Wave to them. Yeah, wave to them. Ooh, yes, hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, I have a... Uh, yeah, I thought I had a speech, but I don't. There's unboxings to be done. Welcome once again by somebody's demand. It's another Retro Game Treasure unboxing. Thank you once again to Retro Game Treasure for uh, making me their honorary cool guy of the week on Twitter. Uh, let's keep it rolling, shall we? Yeah. So I haven't offered me that deal, but I'm uh, I'm hopeful. I, I, I got my email. It's right. It's right there. You got it. You can do it. Yeah. So I've done all the shilling from last episode. Well, we can just get right in. But first, we have a little uh, special visit from the regular postman. So before we get to the retro game treasure unboxing, we have a little bit of a package before that. Today's package is brought to you by the United States Postal Service, USPS, making sure your packages are delivered and some asshole doesn't just take it off your porch. USPS, they're there for you. And they'll make sure, oh, uh, your new Game Boy may be stolen, but they'll make sure. So I ordered this, it came with the, the Retro Game Trash. It's not from them, this is just some other thing that I bought, but let's, let's open it. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I have the shit that I bought online, I don't even remember what I buy. So what do we got here, courtesy of the United States Postal Service, good friends of mine. Hopefully it won't take a year to open up this, no? You got it right on time? Oh! Cube controller. Look at that. Oh, it's actually pristine too. We can now play four player on Wii and GameCube games finally. Because I only had three. I had four, but it was a crappy GameStop controller. GameStop making awful, inadequate GameCube controllers to make your friends pissed off when that's the last one left. GameStop. Oh, fuck us. Didn't mean to throw that at the camera. <laughs> So, it's November. November's Retro Game Treasure. It's my second Retro Game Treasure crate. Uh, if we recall from last time, uh, my first ever game crate, we had Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, kind of the fan favorite of the whole shebang. Road Rash, which uh, I was a big, as I said, I was a big fan of uh, 3D Road Rash. I haven't played this. As soon as I get a Genesis, which I have not got yet. And oh, oh.
Omega Game um, Omega Game Boost. Introducing Omega Boost. And of course I have Snake Eater. Sorry about that. So today we have the November Retro Game Treasure Crate. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this. Uh, I've been chomping at the bit to get this box open. So without further delay, let me go get that tool. Let's go ahead and make this as painless as possible. We have a box cutter this time. So you know, it doesn't take me an hour to open a crate because I suck it. Just the simplest of tasks. I, I really do. When it comes to editing, forget about it. Visual spectacles. Let me do a little special thing right there. See that magic right there? Oh, like knife through butter, baby. All right. Well, we got something. If I can. Well, that's in that box. But there we go. So our first pick. Nicely sealed, too. I can appreciate that. That's, uh, mint. That is some minty goodness. We have Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. Gran Turismo 3, PlayStation 2. Oh, man. The guys that made Gran Turismo, of course, made uh, Omega Boost. Uh, I find out. I find. I find out. I find out. Gran Turismo Three. I've never. I've always been visually intrigued by Gran Turismo. I never. I never could get into it. The one racing game that's kind of like this I was into is like Need for Speed Underground. Maybe maybe this is something that this is the just the push that I need to. Try Gran Turismo 3 again. It's because it's like realistic car driving. If you could, if you could see there, that that little glossy finish there, it's still in the casing, like in like the little wrap. And this case look is looking pristine. That's that's nice and minty. I can I can appreciate that. I mean the game isn't really a steal for me, but this. This casing is really good. Well done with that. Let's see what we got next. We have Brutal Paws of Fury. Brutal Paws of Fury. Don't, I don't know what this is. I, it could be a variety of things. It could be a fighter, which would be great for me. Why do I, f I feel like I should have heard of this, but I never heard of it ever. Brutal Paws of Fury. You can see there, you got the little, little rabbit there. He's got a bear, all staring at you menacingly. Punch you with my... I don't know what I'm doing. Lighting's not good again. That's Lighting, everybody! God, I feel like I should have heard about this game. I mean, I'm so into crappy video games that I feel like I should have heard this. In si I don't even fucking know who Cybersoft even is. Brutal Pause of Fury. Okay. Oh! This time we have two uh, games that don't have their original cases. I had a, uh, a comment, I forget what his name was, but he says that, uh, he got a majority of his, of the games that he got from Retro Game Treasure didn't really come with, uh, the original casings. And I thought I was on a roll there, because I only got one without the original casings, but we got a two for now, so... Ooh, we have another Xbox game! Ooh, Mecha Assault 2, Lone Wolf. Collab, folks. Mega Assault 2, Lone Wolf, rated T for T. On December 28th, the assault begins. Lone Wolf! Woo! I think I remember playing this like on like an Xbox game demo thing. Cause we, on the on the Xbox games, they used to have like demos on the actual game, which is pretty cool. 
So I think I remember trying this out. But I've heard good things about Mecha Assault too, so. It's a mech, mech, mech thing. Do mech, yeah. Do mech, yeah! Put them right over there, would you please? Block my cool ass fox thing that I got from some guy on Etsy. Look at that, look at that, look at him. Oh no! Can you see my reflection in the gold covered hills? Get me some big ass dough. Alright, we got one last game. One last game. What do we got here? It could be a winner. Brutal Paws of Fury. It's kind of the winner for this crate. Just on the sole fact that I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm ready to be blown away, Retro. You know what? I, I'm really am blown away. For now, I finally can live in peace knowing that I, too, can live a bug's life. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a bug's life. For the PlayStation, I remembered hating this game. I think I played it on the N64. I might have actually played it on the PlayStation. This game is garbage. It is not good. I don't let it fool you that it's a Disney game, because there's actually really, really, really good Disney games. But this is ass. And now I own said ass. God, this game is so bad. I remember being so... I remember seeing so being so frustrated and disappointed when I rented this way, way back from, like, Blockbuster. This game is awful. It's mine now, but... It is very atrocious. A bug's life! Would you live it? I think my house is taking a leak. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm frightened. Ladies and gentlemen, that is about it for this month's Retro Game Treasure. All in all, I'm going to be honest, a little, a little bit lackluster this time. A little bit lackluster this time. I mean, I, will, I do appreciate that Gran Turismo 3 was in that nice gleaming little case thing then again I could kind of see Gran Turismo 3 for the PlayStation 2 not being exactly the hardest or rarest game to really find for a collection uh, the real winner I gotta say is Brutal Paws of Fury I think that that's the winner of today I mean just for the sole fact that the car and actually I, I didn't mention this like a cartridge is actually pretty pristine too I gotta actually give them that I didn't mention that because it's really, it's actually in pretty good condition. I can actually appreciate that. I mean, now that I'm seeing this, I can kind of start to expect that maybe I won't get the original case for some of them. I mean, for fuck, I mean, come on, guys. You couldn't, you couldn't get the original case for A Bug's Life for the PlayStation 2. Is it re It's that rare of a thing to find. I mean, it's a fucking Bug's Life for the PlayStation. One of the... Worst fucking games that you could get for that fucking system. You couldn't find the original case? Come on, Retro. You're better than that. You win some, you lose some. I mean, that's the... That's the hype and the low of, of, uh, of a Retro... Uh, of a Game Crate service, you know. You never know what you're gonna get. You could get... A hidden surprise that you didn't think that you'd ever even bought, buy or even knew it existed. But then you get those little... I don't know what the fuck that is. So Retro Game Treasure, once again, you can go on RetroGameTreasure.com. They're not paying me to chill this again. I'm just, you know, 
the salesman that I am, the kind-hearted person that I'd be. Ship one of these bad boys to you every month. You can get three to four games. Uh, you can also get game accessories. They got a little drop-down menu. Uh, you can tell them what games you have so they don't give you duplicates. So you can get more games and not the same game. So you don't have to sell them on a garage sale. I don't know what I'm talking like this. They start around $35. That doesn't include shipping. Shipping is a little bit extra for me to ship it over here in New York. It's around like $45 every month. Which is not, not that bad. So thank you again, Retro Game Treasure. You know, uh... And thank you again for making me the cool guy of the week uh, back in this uh, for my September unboxing. Really do appreciate it. If you guys will excuse me. I have much more pressing matters to attend to. I'm frightened.